Welcome to the joint meeting of the Glendale City Council and the Glendale Economic <coughs> Development Corporation for February 2nd, 2016. May we have the roll call for council. Council members Devine. Here. Friedman. Here. Garpedian. Here. Sananian. Here. Mayor Najarian. Here. And the roll call for the Development Corporation. Board members Devine. Here. Friedman. Here. Garpedian. Here. Sananian. Here. Chair Najarian. Here. May we have your report. Agenda for the February 2nd, 2016 Joint Public Meeting of the City Council and the Economic Development Corporation was posted on Friday, January 29, 2016 on the bulletin board outside City Hall. The item I have before you, the first one is the Director of Community Development regarding Glendale Arts Fiscal Year 2015-2016 first quarter report for the <coughs> Alex Cedar 1A City Council motion to note and file the Alex Cedar quarterly report from Glendale Arts for the period of July 1st, 2015 through September 30th, 2015, first quarter of fiscal year 2015-16. Thank you, Mr. Ochoa. Yes, sir. Uh, please We're pleased to, to present you a strong first quarter report for Alex Theater. We'll have uh, Cassandra Pruitt, our administrative officer, come on up and give you an overview. And I believe uh, Elisa is here for uh, any questions you may have. Good afternoon, Mayor Najarian, GEDC members, and council members. Um, before you is Glendale Arts quarterly report for the Alex Theater operations for the first quarter of fiscal year 15 to 16, which is covering the period of July through September of 2015. As Mr. Ochoa mentioned, um, it's a very strong quarter, both financially and operationally for the Alex Theater. The net income was higher than it's been for any first quarter since 2008. And Glendale Arts is running numerous projects to boost its fundraising and improve, improve house operations at the theater. Glendale Arts has secured 183 confirmed bookings for the Alex Theater out of their goal of 225 for the fiscal year. So they're doing very well that, on that front. They sold over three times the number of box office tickets as the same quarter last year. And the number of days of activities were higher than any quarter in the last five years. So Glendale Arts is at full throttle in their efforts to improve their self-sufficiency and these efforts remain strong. That's really all I have to say. It was a great quarter, and Elise is here to answer any specific questions if you have them. Thank you. Are there any questions? I have a couple. Of yes. Should I ask? Or ask Elisa? Depends what your question is. I'll defer to Elisa if I think that she... Technical can question, I yeah, think, okay. Elisa. Yeah. Let's have Elisa come up. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, ask, I'll ask Elisa. It's okay. All right. Yes. All right. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, the 173 bookings, is it for the first quarter or is it throughout like? The entire year. The entire so year. Okay. Um, our goal for the entire year was 225. And as of the time we filed this report, we were at that number for the entire fiscal year. Okay. And I think... This report is being done this way, but it's a little bit confusing for me, so that's why I'm asking this question. The okay. net income that we have on page two, it says 264101. I'm sorry, are you looking at the staff report or my um, riveting no, the staff document? Report, the okay. staff report. Okay. It says Glendale Arts, uh, strong first quarter. It says net income of $264,101. And then if you go to page three, Alex Theater operation, it says net income is $148,757. That I know that one is based on that, uh, that includes the management fee of $207,000. That's correct. And, and on Glendale Arts page, it says $711,527. I want to know which number is which right? Which number is the correct number? Um, well, one number that you're looking at is, so previously we just uh, presented a report that was specifically for the Alex Theater. Um, it was decided when we were in discussions for our lease and management agreement that we would give you the totality of the organization. So some of the numbers that you see are specifically to the Alex Theater, and then some of the numbers that you see are for the operation overall. So when you're looking at um, page two, and I'm at a disadvantage, because I don't have the financials in front of me. But when you're looking at page two, we're talking about Glendale Arts specifically, correct? correct? And then when you're looking at page three, we're talking about Alex Theater specifically. So that's why those numbers are, are a little bit different. Um, and then in my report, 
So before you go on, uh, yes. so the one on, on Glendale Arts, that includes that $87,000. That's correct. That you raised for, for the... That's correct. So that includes um, Alex Theater, Alex 90s, which what we're calling Illuminate, um, our programming, which is our Act Out and our festival, um, Glendale Arts, the entire uh, breadth of the organization. Got it. And that uh, 711000 on on Glendale Arts report, it says first quarter. Some general highlights include. Right, right. Um, I am just looking at Cassandra's note. And actually, I'm going to defer to Cassandra because I may have misspoken. Um, on page three, that uh, 43077 was specifically what? This one right here? This is what uh, Councilman Garfatian was asking about. Because the, seven, the 711,000 was actually my number for Glendale Arts in total. This number for the was, first quarter. That is the net income for the Alex Theater. Which one? The, the four hundred and thirty. That's for the Alex Theater only. And then what is this? this is for Glendale Arts. So the first part of the report talks about Glendale Arts operations, so that you get the <laughs> overview of the entire organization and everything it's doing. Then it it zooms in on Alex Theater only since that's the city-owned asset and we want to know how the specific operations No, I understand are. that. The and then, so I, I actually flipped them. And then that 711 is actually the total revenue that was generated during that period for Glendale Arts. So she broke down the actual profitability and the variance between the year over date. Mm -hmm. um, the 711 that you're referring to is, again, for the entire profitability of the organization uh, without looking at expenses. So 711 is our gross... Correct. Gross uh, uh, revenue for the first quarter? Yeah, uh, Glendale Arts, ours. Glendale Arts. Correct. And that includes what else besides Alice? What else is in Glendale Arts? Uh, Alex 90, um, as I said, the ACT OUT student uh, intensive that we're doing next summer, and then the festival, which we're doing in September. So it includes all of those um, departmental areas. Okay, so this is this is Under the umbrella of Glendale Arts. This is Arts. an estimated... No, that's, that's final numbers for the quarter. The 711. Okay. 711,000. That's final numbers for the quarter. Am I a not answering the no, correct you're question? You're answering fine. Mr. Garpetian, we might, um, although you'll shoot me because the text is really, really small. But the last page of your report will have a spreadsheet. I have and, that. And the way we've started to account for it now is so you can see the Alex Theater, Glendale Arts, and, and all of the other programs together. We're pulling out different snapshots of that. That 7-Eleven is the total amount for that quarter. And we kept the numbers really small just so we can confuse you even further. So I right, that's right. That's, I, I, yeah, I have that here. <laughs> because it said September, then it said first quarter. It doesn't match. So September, so our quarter is July through September. So um, when S September is referenced, it's really July, August, September. It's for that entire quarter. All right. Thank you. Did I, can I, can I confuse anyone any further beyond that? <laughs> Great. That was easy. No other questions? No. Well, congratulations Very on good. Very good. increasing your bookings and your revenues. Uh, goes without saying. Is there a motion? I make a motion. Second. To note and file. Roll call, please, for the council. Council members Devine? Yes. Friedman? Yes, and well done. Gar Garpedian? Yes, this is for 1A, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, Sananian? Yes. Aaron Najarian? Yes. Let's go to 2. 2 is Director of Community Development regarding lease agreement between City of Glendale and Glendale Arts for commercial space located at 116 West California on the ground floor of the Orange Street Garage. 2A is an introduction of ordinance approving lease with Glendale Arts. Mr. Ochoa. Uh, yes, sir. This one uh, is pretty uh, straightforward continuation of uh, the lease agreement that uh, we have enjoyed uh, previously with Glendale Arts, really as an agent uh, working with the city for the betterment of not only the management of the asset, but also arts in general in Glendale. Uh, you see that uh, we have had a lease agreement really going back to 1999. It's been um, amended and uh, extended from time to time. Uh, the current lease is up, so we are recommending another five-year uh, lease. Uh, I think, as you see in the staff report, uh, 2562 uh, per month, triple net, 3% uh, annual increase. Uh, that uh, is 
the term that is there for property. If you recall, uh, if you can think of it at Orange and um, California uh, as part of the Orange Street garage. So it's uh, on the ground floor of the garage. Uh, if you have any specific questions, uh, Ms. Pruitt or uh, Lisa can uh, talk to you about those. Don't look at me. I don't have any more questions. <laughs> Let me just ask. So this is where the administrative offices are. And is there a community room? Did I see that there's a community room? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Mayor. Uh, there, uh, this is uh, the offices, the administrative offices for Glendale Arts. We have a community room that as part of the lease, they administer for us. Who administer and maintain. I I've never Very been to any true. meetings there. Um. Why don't you invite council people? I was you? there once. I've been there. You can come anytime. Why don't you invite it's your me room. to those meetings. Because <laughs> like, um, like they're not always my meetings. Uh, we actually, on behalf of the city, we allow other nonprofit organizations and community groups in the area um, the ability to utilize that space. So we manage a, an activity calendar. We make sure that the room is clean and not going to offend anyone. Um, we make sure that the restrooms that are both attached to our office as well as that conference room are well maintained. So anyone who falls within the parameters of a nonprofit or community group has the ability to use that space. And I'm sure that as council members, anytime you'd like to book that room, we'd make it available to you. Um, and it, it has the capacity to hold um, around 30 or 40, depending on the configuration of the space. And it's used for a variety of purposes. We have some of our resident companies who meet there on the weekends. Um, we have the Glendale Walk Bike Group that meets there monthly, um, as well as a host of others. I think we're booked somewhere around 10 to 15 days or evenings each month. Okay. Okay. And there's no charge for that room? There is no charge for that room. There is um, obviously official documentation and indemnification stuff that our friends in the city attorney's office and insurance folks um, are pleased that we take care of, but there is, there is no specific cost to using that space. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, Mr. Mayor, I just want to say that I'm very impressed by Glendale Arts and you guys are doing a marvelous job. Well, thank you. Not well, like you'll it. be even more repressed when you see the second quarter report, so I'll just Looking like throw that to, out there. To go through the numbers again. <laughs> yeah, I won't confuse you over numbers, but the, the numbers are very good going into the second quarter. The staff has worked incredibly hard, so thank you on their behalf. Right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a five-year uh, five lease plus? Plus options. Plus a one five-year option. <clears throat> and you're paying rent. That's good. Triple net. 3% annual increase. 10 parking spaces. Okay. All right. So there was a, it was an introduction. So did you, I'm sorry, did you introduce the ordinance? No, it has no. not been introduced Okay. Yet. Would someone like but to I introduce will. the ordinance? I'll introduce it. Thank you. Next item, please. There's no other items on this agenda, Mr. Mayor and Chair. It is just a motion for adjournment oh, okay. for both bodies. Uh, is there a motion to adjourn for council? So moved. Second. And a motion to adjourn for the EDC? So moved. Second. Okay. We are adjourned. <laughs>